Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Wellington. And don't mind the mess behind me. Something is on my couch. I think that's fiber. I was working on a project. I have a cold, so excuse the... And I have a double ear infection. Yay. Isn't that exciting? Uh, at my work, we're kind of lucky to have a clinic. It's Ohio Health is here in Central Ohio, and they have a clinic in our building. My ears have been clogged. I think I've been whining about it for weeks now, and Friday I was like, I can't take it anymore. So I went down, and they looked, and yeah, they're infected. They, they don't hurt, and I'm fine. I'm just stuffed up. So I made some coffee in my coffee because adulting is hard. Yeah cup and it's uh, peppermint mocha and I froth the cream for it. Mm. It's so good and it tastes so good on my throat. Okay, I have a tiny little Dollar Tree haul for you. I probably should wait till I get more stuff, but I have a project coming up and some of the items are in this haul. So we got to do this. Mm. Oh, and it's sitting on my joy book and on january 1st i started filling this out and every day i'm going to write down something that happened during that day that brought me joy so i've already had i'm already behind but i'll catch up i'm on it i had to work at my day job this morning for overtime i'm working tomorrow today's saturday i'm working sunday you won't see this till thursday but that's how it rolls and excuse the hair mm. Something about hot, ooh, sorry, I kicked it. Okay, and I have water on my shirt. Sorry, I'm a mess, guys. <sighs> okay, here we go, Dollar Tree haul. I bought one of these little buckets, and it just says love, 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 all over it. Um, They do have a seal top, I wouldn't, Trust the seal to keep like cookies fresh, but I would totally bake some cookies and put them in a solo bag and drop it down in here. Um, yeah, I think standard size cookie would fit nicely in here. Um, I should have grabbed a second one and I may when I see them. I want to put some candy in it for my office at work to share with my coworkers. And Sarah, and I have had some questions. Sarah is my niece. She is my oldest brother's daughter. And, um, she's my girl. I love her. Hi, Sarah. Um, so I do a lot with her, a lot for her, and, but she's my niece. And she's, she's a grown lady. She teaches high school English, high school English. So she's a smart lady, too. But I love her. And then her brother, Atticus, is my nephew. He is 14. 14, I think. There's a little bit of an age gap there. And apparently I'm keeping the Dollar Tree receipts. I have to remember that. Okay, so I picked up a few things. One, look at this votive. Isn't that an interesting shape? It's like cylinder. It goes up. I wish you could see it better. I'm, oh, I'm thinking it's going to get attached to a... Um, candlestick and put a votive down in there. I just like the shape, especially for summer. I think this is going to be fun. They only had one or I would have gotten two, but I'll be on the hunt for a second one. Sorry. I'll try not to do that. Um, I picked up this photo album, but what I'm using it for is coupons. I think I do a lot of couponing at CVS and I'm going to do a video at some point that shows you how I stack manufacturer coupons with an extra care deal and a CRT, which are those things that print out on the bottom of your receipt. Um, but this is, I was thinking that this would be good to put all my CRTs in to keep them organized, but I don't know. I have a different system right now, but somebody was talking about it and I thought, well, I could try that. But we'll see if not. Um, you can use these for anything, really. And I think what they would be great, if you had an adult that's moving out on their own, you could handwrite some favorite recipes and put it in here for them. Um, 
graduate from college, move it out, move it on their own, or specific recipes for your child or relative that they really love, that would be a beautiful gift. Just saying. Um, like I said, this is a small haul, but there, there's three or four things in here I need to do a project. I found this for my brother's dog, not my oldest brother, my other brother, Mike. He is next to me in age. It's Charms brand, so this is definitely not Dollar Tree. Um, it says Durable Cosmic Pet, but it's a Charms Blow Pop, and he has a Pitbull blend of some dog. She, she's not full Pitbull, but she is of the Terrier variety. So she's not real big. She's a medium-sized dog, but I think she will enjoy at least the 10 minutes it might take her to get the squeaker out, and she likes the ropes. So I thought... That'll be cute for next Christmas. I definitely start buying Christmas stuff now. Um, I already bit, bought Sarah's dog Luna a present, and I bought Jody another gift. So she's done for next Christmas. The dogs, I'll buy her some treats maybe. But um, I got her another uh, Ellen DeGeneres at Kohl's. Are on? They were sixty percent off the other day, and I grabbed her a chew toy with a rope, and one of then I got her that. I will start a box here soon with anything that I had purchased for next year's Christmas. Mm. I was talking about Sarah. Her birthday's coming up. It's around Valentine's Day. So what I might just get one of these, fill it with some treats or goodies or some of her favorite cookies, and then put a gift card in there for her for her birthday. Because we just did Christmas and I used up all my fabulous ideas at Christmas time. So now it's we're on to gift cards. <laughs> she enjoys shopping and I think for birthdays, gift cards are fun. And so she can go buy what she wants that maybe she didn't get for Christmas. Okay, I picked up some scatter. Um, this is actually, no, this is vase filler. They have it in the red, white, and pink. And then they had it in just the red and white. Um... There's a lot of stuff. I used this at Halloween. I was like, what holiday was that? Halloween to make garland. You could do that. You could fill a vase with it. Um, I'm going to use it for a nose on a gnome, I think. Because that's a video I'm going to be doing. But then I'll have tons left. And I could just fill a vase, lay it on the counter. Um, in my house, it wouldn't get laid around not in a package because... Um, the cats. I'm looking here because Alex. I'll show you. Hold on. We're going. We're turning. There's Alex. He's watching. He has to put his whole body on my placemat. Rude cat. <laughs> and Wellington's behind me. These two boys are very social pets. They are definitely, definitely not skittish cats at all. Now, Alex, um, if a stranger or somebody that he doesn't know comes in, he'll run, but then he'll come out and look. Wellington could care less. Um, but again, I've had Wellington. I call him Dub. I've had him since he was six weeks old. And what Alex, I've only had a year and a half, and he was... They think he was three when he was rescued. He was living on the streets. So he's just a different breed. Uh, with me, he's totally like, love me, love me. But, and with my family, they come over and they love on him. And he's perfectly happy. He just takes a minute to come around. Because you needed to know that, right? <laughs> All right. I picked up, here's the table scatter. Um, I did pick up the stickers. This is not stickers. There's no sticky. It's glittery on both sides. However, I think it's like glittery foam because if you look down there, there's no fallout. Um, for my Dollar Tree gnome, I think this might be fun to decorate. Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I just buy materials and they get used for lots of different things. But I have some hearts and this is table scatter. And there is, it appears to be two different size hearts. There's lots of pink in this one. And then a little bit of red glitter. They're all different. I think they just weigh it, probably. But I grabbed that. And then whatever is left, I'll make decorations or donate to um, one of my co-workers. Her grand, she's got four granddaughters that love to craft. And um, anything I have left over, I can box up. And her grandkids will 
go to town and have a grand old time making creations with uh, leftovers. I bought knee-high socks because I'm thinking these would be cute for a body on a Dollar Tree gnome. And I got plain ones. They had all different, but I wanted something that didn't have a whole lot of busy going on. And this is just the hearts and it will match all the other stuff. I haven't really created in my head what we're making, but I have determined some of the materials. And these would also make a good body or, because you're going to cut it off, you can make one with the body and one with the hat. So you could really get four known pieces out of one pair of Dollar Tree socks. So I grabbed those. And the last two things, I three things, three things I picked up. One are these makeup brushes, and they're in like the Halloween or the um, Valentine's gifting section. They had makeup brushes, or these are makeup sponges. They had. Um, mascara uh lip balm i think like lip a couple lip things and they're all like valentine's oh and like the um the egg shaped thick foam applicators these are little hearts and then you separate them like that and you can put makeup on or whatever but i actually use these for painting um if i want to dab or do like a sponge effect or something like spongy I guess I use these for that type of a thing and so um, I don't need a ton of them but this is perfect amount uh, they also work good with stenciling that is what I was trying to come up with the word stenciling uh, because the Dollar Tree stenciling brush is terrible I don't recommend that at all if you're gonna do any type of stenciling and you want to buy their materials at the Dollar Tree these are great and they also sell a whole bag in the makeup section and they're they're better for um stencil type work and so i i got down to my last one the other day so i just replenish i have like a bucket of painting supplies and i just bought new brushes so i needed some new sponges they have earrings guys i know they came out and i'm gonna take these out of plastic so it doesn't glare maybe they came out with the um, Christmas earrings, but now they have Valentine's earrings. Um, I'm going to tell you, these are cheap, cheap, cheap. And they have them in fake gold and fake silver. And these are just little hearts. What I will do is take the backs off. And then I take clear nail polish and I will paint the stem and I will paint on the back side of these. So if I wear these on Valentine's Day for one day, they'll be fine. I paint the mechanisms behind what's going to go in my earrings, in my holes. Uh, if you paint them with clear nail polish, your body won't react adversely if you're sensitive to cheap earrings. So I thought these are super cute for like a one day Valentine's Day wear them to work and um, the nail, clear, and layer, uh, clear nail polish works. It also works on cheap rings. If it turns, if there's certain uh, metals that turn you green, you can paint the inside of the ring with clear nail polish and it does the same thing. So I'll do that with these little hearts just because I thought they were adorable and I need, you know, I don't have Valentine earrings. I'm taking these out of plastic too. They also at my store have these sets of earrings. I'm not wearing uh, any of these, um, but they're like, I would say champagne color, these hearts and these pearls are adorable. What I'm using the hearts for, guys, get jump back because I think I'm a genius. <laughs> not really, but um, yeah, these are terrible earrings. Uh, if you're not sensitive to metals, I mean, they're fine. They're not going to like rot your face off, but I don't know. I wouldn't wear them. Um, but what I'm going to do when I do my gnome, that's not a Dollar Tree gnome, I just lost the back. I'm going to put these on his hat. I'm going to put the two little hearts like right next to each other to decorate the gnome's hat. And for right now, I'm going to drop them in <laughs> this glass thing so they can go upstairs. And oh, I found the back. These backs are pretty good though. I have learned um, with the hoop, you know, like the ones that just slide in, that my ears, they 
I wear them around or whatever and they'll come out and these little the silicone squishy ones are really good for that I just ordered some from Amazon and I didn't realize what I was the amount I was ordering so I bought a package and it was like three dollars and forty seven cents free shipping I'm like perfect I need that because I had some new earrings I wanted to wear, but they, the uh, it didn't come with the little rubber gripper backs. And they kept, no, that's not yours, buddy. Here, I want to say hi. No, you sure don't. Um, come here. They didn't come with the gripper backs, and so they kept falling out. And I was afraid I was going to lose them. Come here. Will you come here? Do you want to say hi to the people? Do you want to say hi to our friends? He said no. Mm -mm. He will as soon as I turn it off. But there's uh, Wellington's back. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video and what my coldness. Hopefully, this will be gone soon. I am on antibiotics. All right. I will talk to you later, and I will be bringing you this week. You'll probably already have seen at least one of the My Valentine gnomes. I am gnome obsessed, guys. I can't help it. Uh, but I do have some other DIYs coming up that involve garland and for spring, Valentine's, winter, and it's the cool thing is it's one garland and we're going to add and take off things for each season. I'm super excited for that. So I will talk to you later. Bye. bye. You going to come say bye? You going to come say bye? Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, you come say bye. He thinks I turned it off. Yeah, you say bye? No. Can you say hi to the people? They want to see you. Oh, they want to see my pretty baby. Yeah. All right, guys, you have a good one. I will talk to you later. Bye.